Hi, this is Mrs. Lutela, and I am here to help you figure out how to download video that is not on YouTube and convert it to something you can actually use and edit for a movie project. We have students working on book trailers this week, and this is actually one of the most frequently asked questions at the library is how do I get that video off the internet so I can actually use it and edit it. For today's example we're going to look at Blip TV and I'm using this as an example because um, as you will see the address bar doesn't actually give the direct link to the video. What it does instead is it gives the address to Creative Commons, search creativecommons.org. So that's where we run into problems when we're trying to capture and download video is if we don't have the URL for the exact video, then we have a problem. So here's our strategy. So here we are at Creative Commons, and you can see it says searchcreativecommons.org in the address field. We're going to type um, a high school art class. Click Go. And you have a whole bunch of results here. And you can see it's looking at Blip TV because I had originally pre-selected that tab. So we're going to click on the Blip TV tab, make sure that that's what we're in. And I'm choosing this random meditation mov movie because it's a minute long, so it's pretty fast. So here we have this lovely movie. And the problem is we have no URL for this lovely movie. So if we look in the address bar, it still says searchcreativecommons.org. So we have no idea how to actually access the, the, this video without going through Creative Commons. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to go to email. Just so you know, this little encryption box doesn't always appear if you're using Firefox. I've just had to reload this video three times in order to get it to show up. Don't despair. Just keep refreshing the browser, do the search over again, and pull up the video again. Eventually, it does work out. I just had to do it three times. That's the most I've ever had to do it. Usually, it's only one time. But OK, so now let's go. We're going to email this video. And now I'm going to go into my email account, and you can see that you have the video is here, and we're going to open it. And look what we have here. We now have the URL for the video, and that's what we were after the whole time. So now that we have the URL for the video, I'm going to come back to our, remember we're in our Moodle block here. So this is book trailers, and we're going to go down to Zamzar. So here we are, clicking on that, and that takes us to Zamzar. And we're going to change this because right now it's in browse mode. What we want is a URL. Wow, it just got busy in here. And we're going to paste that URL to here. And we're going to convert this file to, we're going to choose a movie because I'm on a Mac and that's what I would use to edit this film. But you could choose something else if you're on Windows, like WMV. And then we're going to enter our email address, which is, there we go. And we go ahead and convert. And now we click OK. And now we wait. Like, you just kind of hang here for, it, it can be a bit. So you can see it's uploading the file. And there's seven seconds left, 13 seconds left. It's uploading. You've got the little spinny baby here, 36% um, complete. And it kind of hangs here for a bit. It can take a while. All right. Now it says file upload complete. So you ha your file has successfully finished uploading. We will now convert your file as soon as it's done, we will email it to you, which means that if you open your email right now, nothing's going to be there. It will take a while. You will get an email from Zamzar. Caution, if you're using your ncps-k12.org email address, there's a possibility that it will get held up in spam blocking software. Gmail has very aggressive spam blocking. So if it doesn't show up in your Gmail, then use an alternative email for now. Um, I am going to try to get that cleared with our Google Apps domain administrators. So they make sure that Zamzar is one of the permissible sendees. All right, I'm going back into my email address. Ah, look, it's already done. So here's Zamzar conversions. I'm going to click on that. And here we have our video, and we are going to open it. And now we, instead of downloading for a Mac, this is Mac on Firefox. Instead of downloading, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on it. And I'm going to save link as. Save link as. And I'm going to click on that. And it's going to ask me where I want it. For now, I'm just going to put it on my desktop. And I'm going to call it the Blip TV download. 
that movie and it's on my desktop and now I'm going to save that and it's got to bring it into my computer so you can see that that's what's going on it's doing my download file alright now I know it's on my desktop because that's where I directed it so now I want to go into my movie editing software so I'm going to open iMovie so now I'm in iMovie and I'm going to go to file import movies and I'm going to choose from my desktop, and I'm going to go choose the Blip TV download, which is what I just called it. Uh, I'm going to create a new event, book trailer, even though I have one already open because I've just, I failed at this tutorial earlier. And so I'm going to create a new event, and there it is, and I'm going to click Import. And it takes a minute. First it has to optimize the video, and then it has to add the thumbnails. So it's optimizing video. And now it's generating the thumbnails for the video. <laughs> and here it is. So now we want to cr create a new project. And we're going to call this book trailer. All right, so we have book trailer one. And we're going to take this entire event, which we just imported, and we're going to drag it up here. And now we can start doing some editing. So let's say we want to cut out, we want to cut out, we don't like this flower, let's say. We're going to cut out this portion here. So you just go in here, and we're going to grab this, and we're going to take that down. And now you can go into File, and you can split the clip, and you can ditch that piece, and then we got rid of that one part. And it just automatically put in a transition. You can start tweaking with it. It's completely different with Windows. Um, I'm not good at Windows Movie Maker. I'm hoping that um, Ms. Swan has something laying around that she can work with you on. But this gives you the general idea of the process from you know, Creative Commons, Blip TV, to emailing it, to getting the link, to taking it to Zamzar, to converting it to iMovie, to importing it into your movie software, and then being able to edit it. It sounds really labor intensive. It's just there's a little bit of waiting around for it because you have to wait for it to con you know, upload the file. Then you have to wait for it to convert the file. Then it has to come into your email. And then you have to import it, download it onto your computer, and then bring it into your movie editing software. So it's, it's more just that the computer has to take a little time with it. But the process is actually fairly rudimentary. So if you have any questions, feel free to email. I'd be glad to help. Um, if your questions are on a Windows machine, I'm going to be a little bit stuck because we have a weekend coming up and I don't have a Windows machine at home. So um, good luck and have fun.